Hi guys, my name is Michael. In this video, we are going to create this beautiful clock right here in the same. We are going to create it using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. First, let's start. We have our folder. In our folder, we have our HTML ready and JavaScript and CSS. And we also have our image in here. So we're going to use our Visa Studio as our code editor. Right here. So let's go ahead and let's start. First, we're going to create the structure, the HTML structure. So we're going to go ahead and press shift, exclamation mark, then we'll inlet complete what we want. Then we are going to link our we're going to link the CSS to our HTML and also the JavaScript. We're going to link that now. So let's do that quickly. Inlet. It's called style. Then we're going to link our JavaScript. Is it? Put in the name. So we come down here and we create our container for our clock where the minutes and and the numbers that gonna be on our clock is going to be. Ready. Then I have a class. We we'll call it clock. Then we we'll close it. Okay. In it, then create our then create our minutes and okay, our hour and first hour our hour and then we're gonna create minutes um, using inlets um, faster then we create our second and Create the both the numbers that's gonna be on our clock. So this is gonna be the numbers that's gonna be in our in our tag. We'll time it and say by 12 so we have this now press enter and we have our numbers out so we are done for the html now we're going to move on to the css right here and we style styling it Hey, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do. What are you waiting for? Just click the red button underneath the video. Okay, right now, we're done with the HTML. I'm gonna change the background color. Uh, okay. Okay, now we're going to the CSS. We have an asterisk, comma, asterisk, after, what I think, all the, the text and the box sizing. Okay.
And we're coming down to the body. Body. So I'm gonna style the body. First thing I'm gonna do is put a background image. I went off to Google and got a nice background picture which will really look good at the back of the clock. Then I'm going to centralize the image and make it look nice. But I'm also going to repeat it because it was not that too, it wasn't that deep enough. So I'm gonna repeat the image. Lastly, at the end, I use overflow eating because I didn't want it to scroll. I don't want this clock to be scrollable, just want it to be fixed to one side. Then also use flex, then justify date center. Then I also use background origin content bo content box for it. Uh, now I'm moving on to the clock where I'm going to design the clock and make it cycle. So uh, let's get right into it. Up your coding along, you can pause if you um, get lost. <laughs> creating the clock so we can see we, we created a round a circle we give it a width of 600 and a height of 600 we also give the background color uh, we use rgb well you could just use uh, any color you want you could use us use black or green it doesn't matter well we we'll also give it a border radius of 50 which gave it the circle that's why we have the round circle around it then we also have a border the border has a two pixels solid and um, that's the color we use black that's the zero 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 that's for black then we positioned it relative because we're also going to put in the numbers and the position that we're going to use for the numbers is going to be absolute so we want um, the numbers to be to be relative to 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 the circle okay so now we're moving on to the clock numbers and that's what we're going to be working on next up your following and you can easily uh, get this code on my github i'm gonna put the link in my description too okay now we're done with the numbers you see the position i gave it pos position is absolute and the width is 100 percent the height is 100 percent font width i we made it bold so that is big and nice and uh, we text align to we center it. you can see it up there that little dot that has all the numbers squeezed up together then later now we're going to work on the degrees uh the space between each number i'm first going to repeat it then i'm going to change it and the degree the 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 number of space between each number is going to be 30 so we're going to have 30 9 uh 30 60 90 yeah um increasing like that um so i'm just going to repeat it then change the degree so let's work on that now then we have our number nicely round the clock now we're working on the hand the other hand um, we give it a height of 40 percent a width of 10 pixels then we move with left 50 percent then um we're going to give it on the top of the hand uh, we give it a radius of 10 pixels that is border top right radius of 10 pixels and border top of the left Radio give you 10 pixels, okay? Okay, next we're going to work on the the little dot that's gonna be down in the center of the clock okay content then we give it position absolute background color black we want it black we have z index of 11 we want it to be on top our uh, width of 29 height of 29 then top of 48 then we have a translate translate uh, that's minus 50 percent minus 50 percent then give it a radius 
radius of 50%. Now we're going to work on the hand of the clip. The first one is the second hand, the next one is the minute hand, then is the hour hand. Uh, we gave it as width. We gave the hour hand the width of 17, height of 35%, then background color of black. Then we'll, we're gonna give it um, the second hand will have a pass. The second hand will have a color of red. I'm gonna use red, then minute hand, also color of red. We're gonna have a little border around it, which is gonna be white. But well, we are done with it right now. Next, we're moving on to the JavaScript. So, right now, we're going to JavaScript. So, we're starting with the JavaScript. Well, before we go to JavaScript, we have to go to our HTML to make some changes there. Okay. One, we need to put these tags for the JavaScript right here. And after that, you might want to give a little space here for the CSS. So it will be the same thing uh, with this. So always make sure you check your spelling, make sure you get everything right. And if you notice something else, um, in the HTML have space in between the and and the second. But right here in the CSS, I don't have space between the hand and the second, so don't leave space. Okay, so let's go straight to JavaScript. Let's start. Gonna make a copy, then make changes. Click on the copy. So this data hour and is what I said you should put in the HTML. This then in the JavaScript don't forget to put the bracket. Okay, let's continue. Then we need to make changes. I did this change this. So coming back to change this to minutes and and second and. Okay, you can see now it's working. Okay, you take a look. I removed the eight, that was a mistake. There's only to be eight here. And um, see, our clock is working. So let me give you a quick overview of all the code. So this is the finished JavaScript. Now this is the finished finish CSF. You can take a look. Now this it's just an image connecting where the image is. This is the name of the image, the folder where the image is, and the name of the image. You might not need to put this depending on where the name of your image and where it's located. So this will be located in the folder where the CSS and HTML is. And in a separate um, folder again for images. So this is my image. Select look. I get everything correct. 
You can pause so that you take a good look. Then let's go to our finish HTML. So this is the HTML. Um, I later moved my JavaScript to the, into the body, not into the clock, um, not into the clock div, but into the body itself. Notice it right here, and this is closed. This is my CSS. Right, yeah. So this is it. So you can pause so that I can take a look at it and correct any mistakes when I was coding. Okay, we are done. So we finally created our clock. Looking good and it's correct. If you look down here to the clock of my system, it's working perfectly. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about it, about this video. Bye.